Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I decided to dedicate towards a, is it a technique? No, you can do lots of different techniques using this item, but I really wanted to share with you the elements of an N-gobe. Okay, now let me tell you a quick story. I bought this at a store a long, 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 long time ago and it was in powder form thinking it was a glaze. Got it home, read the word Engo, didn't know what the heck it was. Longest time, didn't research what Engo was, never heard it used, hardly ever, and um, decided today would be a great day to share the word. <laughs> I'm sharing the word with uh, Engo, <laughs> which is, I learned from Ceramic Arts Daily, it's like a slip. The slip, underglaze, and engobes are kind of in the same family because it's water, clay, and a stain or an oxide, okay? So it's coloring with, you know, added to clay water. Well, an engobe has, what they say, it has less clay content in it, which means that it can actually be used on a bisque form. Usually you add slips and underglaze well, underglaze can also be added to a bisque, but usually use slips on either wet or leather hard. You know, just it's it's got to be a non-fired piece most of the time when you're adding slip to something. So uh, this right here, you could use it on bisque. I'm using it on a leather hard piece, a nice little tiny bowl, and uh, put it on my wheel. So I hope you guys enjoy today. Uh, you can also use it to burnish, and I use this little wooden egg. It's a it's a very very smooth shiny surfaced wood, wooden egg, and I did a little bit of burnishing. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it in the camera, but um, the video itself. But hopefully you can. Um, here we go using some engobe. Now you know the word what an engobe is. Yeah, you know what the light bulb and and the angel choir and everything started singing when I figured this one out. So hope you guys enjoy today's clip. Let's get started. surface to your um, your piece. I liked it because it was also smoother than underglaze. You could use a thinner amount of it and it makes a more intense color with using a more liquefied form. Like that. Hope it stays. Also, I got to burnish the outside of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to, I made this an end go day, but I just decided now I'm going to write burnish on there. So the technique today was burnish. The, the product of choice was end go. Um, Hey, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's clip. I'm going to bed because it's nighttime and it's still really hot here, but I don't care. I'm happy. I'm finished. We will see you tomorrow. Come back and join me.